everybody, I'm Juliane and today I'm at Connor's workshop and we want to talk about HCT, which means hardcore technology, which is used for the HC1 and the HC3. So follow me. Hi, Connor. <laughs> um, so here at this old Suzuki, um, I saw that you are using two HC3 and maybe you want to explain what makes the HCT so special and what makes it so great. Okay, um, I suppose the easiest way to explain it, Juliani, would be to, to show you a standard piston which is in almost every brake or clutch master cylinder. Um, it has a primary and a secondary seal and when I activate the lever it passes the primary port and builds pressure. Um, with our HCT, our hardcore technology, um, my piston looks a little different, as you can see. I have five slits in the piston, um, so that one is always at the top for um, the ability to self-bleed. And the, the primary seal is mounted in the cylinder wall and the piston passes through it. Um, there's less friction on this piston than there is in it with a standard setup, so I have a better feel effectively for what's mm -hmm. happening down at the business end of the brakes. Okay. Um, the master cylinders that I have on here are HC3 master cylinders, so I have a three way uh, mechanical adjustment. Mm -hmm. um, in all three positions, the master cylinder always remains fully 90 degree radial. But I have, uh, in this case, I can see an 11 and a 13. That means this is a 12 millimeter master cylinder, the actual size of the port. Um, but if I lift the screw out and reposition it here, then I need more lever travel and less force to activate it. Mm -hmm. And if I put it into the 13 millimeter position, then I have less lever travel, but I need more force to activate it. Um, so yeah. it's mm -hmm. almost exactly the same effect mm -hmm. as if I actually removed the master cylinder, changed the piston size and put another piston size on. So this is a master cylinder that replicates having three different pistons. Okay. And uh, as a result, everybody has their own um, personal preference. Mm -hmm. Some people ride with four fingers on the brake or clutch lever, other people ride with one finger, so everyone has their own um, personal mm -hmm. preference. Yeah. So let's say I would put the brake lever to uh, 19, it would mean that it's, um, it activates way quicker but it's harder to... Yes. Okay, exactly. and then if I put it on 17 I have way more travel here Yes. and I can dose it. It's easier, easier. to dose. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Um, as you can see I also have our remote um, oh, wow. lever adjuster <laughs> on this bike which is oh. yeah, for, the, for the racetrack. But it doesn't come with that? No, no that's okay. uh, an optional extra. Hi. And you're going to race this bike soon, I heard. <laughs> and the idea was that I was going to be racing it next month. Oh. But, uh, it's going to be next year. Okay. But uh, at that stage, it should be quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'll definitely cross fingers for you. And um, yeah, thanks for explaining. Thank you very much. <laughs>